More than a third of white students lie about their race on college applications survey finds. What? You mean that when one group is being oppressed, they will try to hide what they are and pretend to be the other group to get around it? Kind of like how a couple hundred years ago, women pretended to be men so they can get into academia? Damn, this is just hilarious. The funniest thing for me, though, is why do they even want to go to college? Why are you, uh, why are you lining up to go to an institution that hates you. And the best thing, by the way, they ask what you identify as, not what you biologically are, because biology is a social construct, remember. So don't feel ashamed in just saying you identify as black. Or like Elizabeth Warren, hey, I'm one 1,024th Native American. A survey from Intelligent found that 34% of white students who applied to colleges and universities falsely claimed they were a racial minority on their application. Wait, did you bigots just assume what they identify as? If they don't identify as white, did they claim falsely? The publication found that 81% of students who faked minority status did so to improve their chances of getting accepted. 50% of students who lied said that they did it to get minority-focused financial aid. So, if all these minorities were so oppressed and white people were so privileged, wouldn't you see minorities pretending to be white, not the other way around? Why are all these privileged... No, no, no. Actually, we should be commending these white kids. They are surrendering their white privilege. All they want to do is level the playing field. All they're doing is putting their white privilege aside so they won't be given preferential treatment over their minority uh, comrades, counterparts. That's all they're doing. And these pieces of shit are trying to claim that these white kids are be doing something bad? They are giving up their white privilege to level the playing field. And that's not enough for you? What more do you want? The most students, 48%, claim to be Native American on their application. Hey, Elizabeth Warren does and nothing happened to her. 13% falsely marked they were Latino, while 10% falsely claimed to be black. 9% of those surveyed lied that they were Asian or Pacific Islander. What if they identify as, as all of these, you fucking bigots? And for the most part, Intelligent found these white students tended to get away with their lies. Around 3 and 4 or 77% of white applicants who faked minority status on their applications were accepted to those colleges. I think those colleges should be investigated for racism if this is the case. While other factors may have played a role in their acceptance, the majority of applicants who lied and were accepted, 85%, believe that falsifying their racial minority status helped them secure admission to college, Intelligent uh, wrote in the report. Yeah, and all they did was give up their privilege. So, my, my fellow crackers, give up that white privilege. Do the right thing. Among those willing to fake their minority status, 48% of white male applicants lied about their race, while 16% 16, 16 of white female applicants did so. So you want to know why there's such a disparity? Because uh, there's plenty of women's only scholarships. And even though women make up 60% of the college population now, they still get special treatment and, and, and special programs and all this extra help even though they are the majority in college. It's men that need those programs, but nope, women get it. Women still get it instead, even though they're already the majority. So women have plenty of resources they can, they can use already. They'll be fine. So it, it's the white men that, that need to take advantage of this the most. So twice as many men as women's claimed Native American heritage on their applications, 54% compared to 24%. Meanwhile, one in four women's, 24% claimed to be Latino. Women's are also more than twice as likely as men to pretend to be black, <laughs> Intelligent wrote. Well, maybe they went black and they just can't go back. So college dudes, now you have another thing to look out for, I guess. No, the publication surveyed 1,250 white Americans who had previously applied to college. The survey was conducted on July 13th. Great. See, this is what happens when, when one group is being discriminated against in a system, they pretend to be another group. It's literally that simple.
That's all you need to do. Again, a couple hundred years ago, when women were barred from higher indoctrination, they pretended to be men, to, to be taken seriously and to be allowed into these academic circles. And then we had that poet uh, a year or two ago, the white man, submitted uh, his poem to some magazines, got rejected, submitted that exact same poem under an Asian pseudonym, was being nominated for fucking awards. If you're being discriminated against, then just hide what you are. It's that simple. And, and right now, no. If, if white people are the ones being discriminated against, then just give up that white privilege. Like, eh, I'm going to be Latino now. They shouldn't be allowed to complain. All you're doing is giving up that privilege. It, it's not like you got an oppressed person uh, falsely taking the identity of someone who's privileged to take uh, advantage of that privilege, right? Now, that might be seen as a problem. No, right here, what we have is a bunch of privileged white people casting aside their privilege to be treated as, as people of color, which who are apparently oppressed. How can you say that's a bad thing? Seriously. Unless you're a bunch of racists, but ah, we already knew that. Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.